Hello friends, in this video we will solve the RSS exam question which will be asked in 20 to 25 marks and this question is related to the logical volume. So without wasting your time, let's start this video. The question said that create a new logical volume data store inside the volume group database with the following keynotes. Volume group physical action size must be so 16 MB in each should be mounted under the slash common slash classes with the ext4 and any file system is given in your question paper and auto mount after reboot as well. That means we need to create a logical volume data sort inside the volume group database with the following parameters. So how to do for that we need to understand the logical volume should be of the 15 extent. For example, he said that the 15 extent Sorry, uh, for example, he said that the volume group physical extent size must be 16. So you need to multiply this 16 into 15, 50. And whatever you can get answer, for example, 50 into 60 equal to 800. We need to create that size partition and you can add plus 50 for your security purpose. That means we need to create the 850. For example, you can see here if the question paper said that volume group physical extent size must be soda, you need to multiply this 16 into, into 50. The answer should be 800 and you can just add 50. That means our answer is the 8. That means our answer is the 850. And here you can just create the 850 MB partition size. Okay, you can understand. Then here the question paper said that the logical volume name is a data store. So first of all, we can create the one partition with the help of the FDX command FDX FDISK FDX slash div slash sdb <coughs> okay here you don't know what is the command so just type m for the help here all commands related over partition is present for example here you can see that n for add a new partition t for the print the partition table t for the change the partition type okay so we have to create the partition that's why I'm using n command after he said that the partition is the primary or extended unit just type t then the partition number he will by default get 3 because in my system there is already 2 partition are present that's why he giving the default partition is the 3 just typing the enter he will ask the first sector you can just enter then the last sector here you can mention the size of your partition and the size of your partition I, I have already defined here the size of the partition is depends on your calculation for example uh, we calculate the size of the partition is the 850 that's why here you can see the 850 here you can mention the 850 MB so how can mention plus plus 850m okay then you can also give the type of your uh, type for this partition so here mention the logical volume that means lvm and you can also remember that the lvm hex code is 80 8 here you can see that change the type of the partition linux to the lvm okay then just write for the w the partition table has been altered then here you can fire the part probe command then the udav adam settle command just our logical volume is also created and our 50% Question is here solved. Now <coughs> we need to also create a physical volume. Okay, 
uh, for the creating the physical volume here is the command is a pv create bin in front of bin we mention the logical volume name for example slash div slash hdb3 okay slash hdb3 is the path of our logical volume our physical volume of slash div slash hdb3 is successfully created then we can create a volume group and the question is paper said that the volume group name is database so how to create vg create then the hyphen n for the name and the name is sorry this option is not uh, used here the vg create then the <coughs> Uh, volume group name is the data base database then hyphen s for the size and the size of our physical extent or volume group is the 60 mb that's why here i am mentioned the 60 mb this size is also present in your question paper okay then here you can write the path of your logical volume sdb t okay volume group database successfully created in our system okay then we can also create the logical volume for creating the logical volume there is a one command lv create lv create hyphen n is used for the name of our logical volume and name of our logical volume is the data store which will present in your question paper data store then here hyphen l you must to use hyphen l for the length and the question paper said that we use a 50 extent that's why here i mentioned the 50 okay and the data yes. okay then database is the name of our logical world After entering, he said that logical volume data store is created. That means logical volume is also created. Then we can also define the file system of for this logical volume. Therefore, we use mkfs hyphen t for the type ext4. Why I am using here ext4? Because question paper said that ext4 file system you need to use. Whichever uh, he given in your question paper, you must use this file system in your answer. Okay, and then your logical volume path path for example here the logical volume path is the div slash data base slash data store this is a logical volume path after creating creating the file system with the 4k blocks and is this this i node that means our logical volume is successfully created here you can see that physical volume slash div slash db3 is the successfully created volume group is also created then our file system uid is also here mentioned that means our 100 percent question is solved here and you will get out of out marks that means 25 to 30 marks you will get here but uh, one step is uh, left here so we can mount this partition to the particular location which will also given in your question paper and question paper said that Um, volume group physical extent size must be 16 MB and it should be mounted under the slash common slash classes with ext4 so we need to to so we need to first of all we need to create a folder that can be mounted here so so first of all we can create a one folder mounted folder for with the help of the mkdir command so here you can see that mkdir hyphen p slash common slash common slash classes this is a mounted folder our folder is successfully created 
then we need to go the fs tab because of permanently mount fs tab with the help of the vim command we can directly open this file in slack fs tab here we can mention our swap sorry logical volume all details just go to the insert mode here we mention our logical volume name or path the logical volume name path is what just i'm checking here the logical volume name is here you can see there is a logical volume name is what what is the logical volume name logical volume name is the slash div slash database slash data store so just i'm copy this path <coughs> and here i'm pasting this is the logical volume path okay then here you can mention the mount folder the mount folder is a common slash classes okay then he, here you can mention a type and the type is ex3 ext3 file system type then the defaults defaults then the 00, zero. okay then you can just save this file and fire a command mount hyphen a m o u n t mount hyphen a Okay, here your question is solved successfully. Now the check part is the our logical volume is created or not. For that you can use the lsblk command lsblk. Here you can see that inside the sdb3 database data store logical volume is created having the size 800 MB as mentioned in our question paper. Okay, that means our equation is successfully solved and you will get 25 to 30 marks here. So friend this question over here and if you like this video, please subscribe my channel and wait for the next video. Thank you.